Hey, Sand Car Buy Sell Crew, Conrad coming at you with a classified ad review for Monday, May 9th, 2022. I've been wanting to do a review on an entry level VW powered car for a while, and this one just happened to show up on our Sand Car Buy Sell Facebook page, and I thought, hey, there's the perfect candidate. Let's go ahead and throw it in the mix and see if we can't help get this car moved. Before we get there, though, I do want to make mention that we've got merch, right? Head over to sandcarbuysell.com. Scroll down a little bit and you'll find our merch. You can get yourself a t-shirt, get yourself a hat. These are pretty awesome, right? The snapbacks with a mesh because it's warming up. Get yourself a, a Sandcar Buy Sell logo shirt, small on, you know, on the front, little one, big one on the back. But these are really nice quality shirts, so you want to pick one up and represent. Now, moving on from there, YouTube, if you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe. Hit subscribe and hit that bell, all right? We've got currently 235 YouTube subscribers. Thank you very much to all those that have already subscribed. We're goal, we're looking at 1,000. We're trying to get to 1,000 subscribers. So if you would, if you like this content, tell a friend and get people to come over here and subscribe, please. It really helps us out. So without further ado, let's get into the classified ad review. Okay, so I picked this car for a few reasons. One, I said that we just needed a basic entry-level VW car, right? So he's sitting here on top of Oldsmobile Hill, so this is just a great shot. So that's so that sold me, right? Because it's like selling the dream. This could be you, standing here at the top of Olds with your bitchin' old-school rear-engine car. So this chassis, in fact, is pretty much a... A lot of these were sold in the 1970s and the 1980s. This is your basic build, right? This is what everybody was running back in the day before the long travel craze came in and Mindale invented their transmission and then we were bolting all sorts of big horsepower engines to them, right? But one of the things I really like about this car is the A-pillar. Why, Conrad? Because the majority of this style chassis the B pillar and the C pillar is the same, always over and over and over. But the, the top bar and the front hoop, this hoop is usually really low. And then this bar goes up and then down. And what does that do? That puts the A pillar right in front of your face, the front hoop. So what are you doing while you're driving in the dunes? You're looking over it and you're looking under it. You're constantly doing this in these old school cars. Now I'm six foot one, so this is super important to me. The front A pillar is very tall and your head's gonna be sitting right around here so you can see out of the car. So comfort and safety is definitely important and it looks like this car's got both. So what do we have? We've got, this car is brought to you by Sand Car Buy Sell member Jonathan Selig. San Diego, California, he's asking $6,500. Old school rail, completely redone. Car was built last year from the frame up. New everything, have all the receipts, everything is new. 1915cc built by Tom at Buggy Works. Currently registered, super important, with a title. Asking what I have in the car, $6,500, and he does accept credit card or cash. So let's move through this and see what we've got. So this is a two seat rear engine swing axle, pretty much standard fare from what everybody was running, like I said, back in the 70s and the 80s. Set of aluminum wheels. Nice paddles. These are tractor tires in the front. These are a three rib tractor tire. These fuel tanks are super cool. Uh, I saw them on uh, the Samba.com. Here's a better shot of it, where it's got these end caps on it. So this manufacturer, he's somewhere back east, I think. And this isn't your standard run of the mill uh, fuel tank. This is a, a pretty unique setup that the guy's building right now. This has got a 1915cc in it with dual carbs and a quiet muffler. I am a fan of quiet cars. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm building a rotary car and it's kind of a straight pipe, but that's going to be basically for dragging the hill, right? And, and making all sorts of racket and having fun. But for duning, I like quiet exhaust. Why? So you can talk to your passenger, right? And then you can also listen to your car and hear if anything's coming loose, rattling, knocking, and then you can get it re remedied sooner than later. So quiet pack exhaust. This is a this is a nice setup. Aftermarket valve covers. But moving on. So what do we have? Stock VW front beam, but this is an aluminum setup. This is actually a really unique deal because these shock towers on here are probably like a half an inch thick with some bracing in the back. 
these beams aren't actually common. Uh, it's usually a different, I mean, same tubes down here, but the, the shock towers are usually, um, a, you know, a thicker aluminum with some webbing in them and stuff. So this is, this is a really cool beam. Looks like we've got some KYB shocks, stock trailing arms, probably stock spindles. Looks like um, heavy duty tie rods. If you've ever run stock VW tie rods and the dunes are off road, you know they bend like spaghetti noodles, like bad. And these front tires, like I mentioned, these are gonna be tractor tires. So they've got the three ribs on them. So it's really gonna help with your steering and they're not gonna throw sand. Moving back, cooler setup, cooler cover. Looks like we've got a CNC or a Neo pedal assembly with some nice reservoirs, larger reservoirs on a pedal slide. So if you're running taller or shorter people in here, you can move those pedals back and forth. So, or like even if you're kids, you know, so they can reach. And some LED lights, run of the mill uh, switch box. These you can buy at your local dude buggy shop. They're usually around 40 bucks. Throw your gauges in them and your switches in them. Mount it down, wire it up, rock and roll, right? Very simple. I love simple cars. You can have a lot of fun in this machine. We've got a passenger grab handle, rear view mirror, folding whip mount on here with a glamis flag bonus the light bar so this has got um yellow in it and one of the things you'll realize or folks that have, have bought light bars and run them up high is if you have an all white one and it's a holiday weekend and you're heading out to the hill or you're heading home and it's nighttime right the all white tends to reflect the dust oh my gosh is it's like if you're driving in fog and they tell you to turn your brights off and put your low beams on because the fog reflects, the same thing happens out at the dunes with the dust. The white lights reflect off of the dust. So the yellow is going to help cut through the dust as well as people that are coming towards you are going to be able to see kind of like a chase light in a sense that there's a car up ahead and they need to be aware. So this is actually a really nice light bar as far as the uh, white with the yellow on there. And you don't see many people do that. So good choice on that, uh, Jonathan. And let's move on. Oh, we've got a couple speakers on here for fun. I don't run speakers on my car because I want to listen to the motor. That's my music. And the two-stroke dirt bikes blazing by or when you're racing them up the hill. So moving on, let's see, swing axle. So standard swing axle, I did reach out to John because he said that uh, it is a stock swing axle, but it does have uh, aftermarket clutch and pressure, pressure plate in it. So, you know, you're not gonna be pulling the hill very fast in third or fourth gear, but this is definitely gonna be a fun cruiser. And that third and fourth gear is gonna help you get down to, uh, like if you're heading down to the South Dunes and you're going to Dooner's Diner, or if you're at the South Dunes and you're coming up to Glamis, uh, having that taller third gear will help. But this is not gonna this is not gonna be a drag racer. I can tell you that from experience because I've run cars with stock trends. But with a dual carb 1915 in it, it's gonna have plenty of power to push this car around. So as far as the engine is concerned, we've got a looks like a uh, 36 horse style fan shroud with the breathers on it. So it's built right. Okay, alternator. Quiet exhaust, outer wares. And then we're just coming back around to uh, some dune shots and then right back around to the beginning. So all in all, at the end of the day, what I see is your basic entry level two seat rear engine swing axle car and you're gonna get out there and you're gonna have a lot of fun in it and it's not gonna cost a lot of money. Having the, uh, the build sheets, oh, that's what I forgot is the build sheets. This is always important when you're buying a sand rail, especially a Volkswagen, is check it out. He's got the build sheet from Buggy Works. Here's their website, right? Buggy Works is still in business. They're out of Santee, California. And uh, the build sheets are gonna show, let's see, what do we got? Main bearings, bearings, cam bearings, oil pump. So it's the full rebuild sheet, right? Kendall. Wix filter, valve guides, oil filter, sand seal. Look at that. Wow, it's got a sand seal. Imagine that. Uh, chrome molly push rods, push rod tubes, 94 by 69, which makes it a 1915, long block 1915 deck case. So where are we at? $1,810 on that receipt. And then we move it over here. And we've got more receipts, clutch, slave cylinder, fuel tank, yada, 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 right? So where are we at on that one? Here is a $1,500 receipt. So you're basically looking at right here, $1,810 and $1,500. Between the engine and all the accessories, 
and he's got a build sheet for the engine, which is super important. And if you ran any issues with it, these fellows over at Buggy Works, they're gonna know the engine because they built it. You can take the engine back to them or take the car back to them and they can get it buttoned up. But otherwise, I guess that's all I've got. I will say, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. See you in the dunes.